quick little tutorial um, about how to paint a witch or an old hag face. And I'm using these cream makeups that I got from Walmart for 94 cents or 97 cents, something like that. Pretty cheap and expensive. The only problem is they're really watery and um, greasy. So a trick that I'm going to use for a really nice pale base is I have actually mixed it with foundation or a tinted moisturizer and it makes this really pretty pale color. So I'm going to rub that all in my face. You can use a makeup sponge or your fingers, whatever you prefer. And make sure whenever you are dressing for Halloween or whatever, you go down as far as your costume does because you don't want your face to be really pale and ugly and then have your neck be normal. I don't know how well you can see that, but it makes this really pale color instead of it being white like a clown. Alright, and also this real light color makes all of your wrinkles that you usually want to hide come out too. Alright, now that we're all pale and white and sickly looking, I'm going to take some of that brown and I'm going to use a makeup sponge that I just tore in half. That way you get this um, stippling side and you also get these edges to mark with. And what we're going to do is hollow out all the parts of your face to make it kind of look sunken in. Put that brown and a little bit of um, the tinted moisturizer white that I had made for the paleness. And first I'm going to hollow out my temples. I don't know if that shows up very well. And I'm dabbing to blend it instead of rubbing it because then you kind of lose it. You gotta remember this is for Halloween, so if it kinda looks rough. Alright, and if you get it into your hairline, that's okay because it's gonna wash out. It's not gonna stain your hair or anything unless you have like really blonde hair. And for the tinted moisturizer that you're using or light foundation or whatever, I don't suggest using your expensive stuff. Just go to the drugstore and get the cheap stuff. Okay, now we're going to take this Make a Fish Face. You see where your cheekbone line is? That's where we want to go next. You can kind of draw it in first. And then you're going to pull this to blend it. So it's not so harsh. Do the same thing for the other side. Up. You're just putting the edge on there and pulling. Okay. Now I'm going to do. I'm going to draw this on a little bit. The temples. Forehead. Like I said, blend it in too. And I always like to do stuff around my hairline just to add to. So I'm going to stipple up here. Making it kind of sickly and rough. Okay, now you're going to do the inside of your eyes all the way down the side of your nose. That way, we're going to highlight the bridge of your nose in a minute. Make the sides of your nose look really sunken in. You can go ahead and pull that under your eye. Now, white doesn't really dry. It kind of stays sticky the whole time until we powder it. 
So it kind of helps when you start blending. All right, now we're gonna accent all of your wrinkles that you pay money on expensive products to try to hide. So what you're gonna do is scrunch your forehead up. All these little wrinkles in there, you're just gonna line them up. You can make some of it if you think you don't have any. All right, and you take your fingers and just Pull that up. It's not so harsh. I'm already looking old. Another trick too that a good friend taught me is if you make an X right here, it brings your eyes closer together, and it automatically makes you look a little weird. Then there's wrinkles right there. You can always use a paintbrush on this too. Now, you have these wrinkles that come down here. Both sides, using the point of your sponge, you're going to draw those in. And you can always, if you think you mess up, always go back in and blend them out. Bring this down, this line right here around your face. Flip down into your neck. You can even do these little wrinkles under here. Like I said, all the way down into wherever your costume start stops. You want to make sure you have some. I'm gonna rub that in so it's not harsh lines. This line right here. Wow, I look old. Okay. We're going to take some black cream makeup and tone it down a little bit with the tinted. And put some deep wrinkles in and just shadow everything we've done. I'm going to pull that in to the shadow. And some of it may look a little cartoony, but you want that contrast so that when you're out in the dark scaring people, it shows up a whole lot. Now we're going to take some of that white 
and the moisturizer. Just enough moisturizer to make it not so runny, but you want more white than anything in this. And we're going to highlight and, and take a clean sponge too so it doesn't get messed up. You're going to do the top of your nose. This is just going to make all of those shadows that you made for wrinkles look even deeper. Alright, now let's talk about eyes. I'm going to take this black Another good thing too, if you don't have this cream makeup stuff, you can use eyeshadow and it works surprisingly just as well. Alright. Now lips, before I'm going to do that, I'm going to take just a black eyeliner pencil. An outline. And oops. I also do big ugly moles. Something you can do also is take some rice and some spirit gum or some eyelash glue or some Elmer's glue, doesn't matter and glue it to your face and make some ugly maggots coming out of your face. Okay. There. Now I'm going to take some of that brown and black mixed together. What do you feel in my lips? Here you go. Um, and to set this so you can go out all night, I would suggest using um, powder, translucent powder, baby powder, whatever you have, um, and a sponge around like the sponge it comes with or one of these bad boys because you don't want to just brush the powder on. You actually want to press it in and it will absorb all that oil and the cream and it will keep it on all night long. So actually press it in. So the last thing we're going to do is take your eyeliner pencil and do some eyebrows. And I'm just going to make mine crazy big by pulling them up. Now a trick, if you wanted to get rid of eyebrows all together, is to use a glue stick, an Elmer's glue stick, and cover them up that way. There we go. Now, last thing you do is take your hair down, make it messy, and always take some of that color and put it in your hair, and there you go. All right. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, stay tuned next week. We're going to do a glam vamp. Um, make it a little bit prettier for you guys. So just follow me on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Thanks guys.